takes courage to let things go. Things that hurt you, things that wounded you, things that made you bleed, things that suffer where you suffered loss, promotions you didn't get, houses you lost, men who left, women who betrayed you. It takes courage to let it go. You have to have enough faith to believe that what is in front of you is greater than what was behind you. If you don't learn how to forgive, you cannot live, you cannot drive, you cannot move forward, and you will always suffer. You will always suffer. But if that thing is still living in your head, it's going to still be living in your life. If you're still bitter in your head, you're going to be bitter in your life. You got to determine, do you want to embrace your destiny or do you want to flutter on the ground in your history? This is a decision only you can make. You will have to make a decision. If you want more in the second half of your life than what you had in the first half of your life, then you're going to have to let the first half go. Sometimes your history determines the fierceness with which you fight against what is in front of you. What I'm trying to tell you, beloved, is that you can have a new year but it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. Every moment is beautiful. This is beautiful right now on your couch. Whatever it is, it's a beautiful moment. Be fully present to it. Have no guilt about it. That's the other thing, right? We have our, we're carrying old from the past, projecting in the future, or feeling guilty about now. I would say that guilt is the biggest, ugliest, most damaging sin of all. Guilt, because you carry it into the moment. You can't even enjoy this moment, because you feel guilty about it. The problem is that when you're looking back, when you're constantly doing this, you're looking back, you have no energy to be available for the moment. And each moment offers its present, its gift. And if your eyes are busy distracted with what used to be or what could be, then everything that is slips by you. Stop wasting your weapons on what people say because it is not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. I cannot step into the future and still think in my past. I cannot let the rumors and the stain of what they said about me destroy my opportunity. We have control of our minute, our hour, our day, our week, our month, and our year.